Hello YouTube. <clears throat> I didn't think I was going to be making a video today. In fact, I didn't think I was going to be making one till Friday, but I decided to make a video and I'm going to call it My Ordeal. So, I'm pretty sure I made a video on Monday or Tuesday, whenever it was that I made my last video. And I talked about how, uh, like, I, I've been sick and I've been, I was feeling better. I, w I, I was not feeling as good as I made myself such a scene. Um, today we went to the clinic to see what I got. And uh, they did a strep test because obviously I got a sore throat. Now, the doctor was pretty sure it wasn't strep, but he decided he wanted to test for that just in case. So... Uh, we tested for strep. It wasn't strep, just as we thought. You know. Plus, if you ever have to get yourself checked for strep, it really sucks because they hold down your tongue with a popsicle stick, and then they take a really long cotton swab and they stick it down your throat and scrape the side of your throat. It hurts. The nurse said something about tickling my tonsils. So back to matters concern after that test they decided they're, they're going to test for mono the test for that they have to draw blood which doesn't make any sense to me if mono is contracted through saliva why not just take some saliva out of my mouth like maybe I can understand I'd have to drool for like a half an hour into a bucket until, uh, until they got enough but I don't know so, uh, I came home, because uh, they said, you know, mono is highly contagious, so I shouldn't go to school. Uh, I should stay home and just lay in bed, which I'm probably not going to do, just because laying in bed sucks. It makes me tired, and get, when I wake up, everyone's like, hey, you want to go do something, and I get a really big headache from laying down all day and then getting up. <laughs> So, I actually, I actually had no idea what mono was. My mom told me it was some sort of kissing disease, and I'm like, I haven't been making out with anyone in a while. Last time I did that was some time back in uh, October, no, the month before October. September. September. Um, so, that was the last time I made out with anyone was back in September, and I haven't had a girlfriend or anything since then. So I couldn't figure out what it was. I watched a video that some college students made on how uh, mono can be contracted. Uh, it's not, I mean, the most common way is through kissing, making out, but... Uh, also, another way is to uh, be in close quarters with, uh, or like you know, like a, like a bedroom, or be a roommate with someone who has mono. And uh, from what I can best figure, it's my brother's fault that I might have mono. He he was sick. Now he was sick from Saturday to Sunday. I'm pretty sure he was up and going Monday and Tuesday. Like, he was out of the house Monday and Tuesday. He was also going on Sunday, but Sunday was his girlfriend's birthday. The best I can figure it's his fault, because he has a girlfriend. And they make out on that bed pretty much every day. Every time she's over here, they're always making out on that bed. And guess where the best spot to watch TV is? On that bed. So you know where I lay when I decide I want to watch TV? unaware of the possible diseases I could be getting right there right there just to watch TV now now that I know this I'm going to demand that this weekend my brother wash all of his sheets pillows blankets everything then steam his bed or something because for me to get mono just from laying on his bed and watching TV is disgusting so this is my ordeal day five 
I can make another video tomorrow, probably after I get the blood test results back in. So that'll be around noonish. I tell you guys how I'm doing, you know. Like I'm, I'm feeling better than I have been, but I still got like a really bad sore throat, and it's keeping me from drinking anything but water. And I, I've like my gums are sore too. So whenever I bite into anything, you know, like when you bite into stuff, it you can see the bite mark, right? And it's always got there's a little piece forward, and that's because there's gaps in your teeth. Well, my my gums are like really sore. So if I bite into something, those little slivers of stuff that go through the cracks of your teeth will hit my jaw or not my jaw my gums and it hurts so I have trouble eating I have trouble chewing because my back molars hurt I'm not hungry it's just weird and I was reading online and it said that uh, you will you shouldn't feel hungry like it's a loss of appetite you'll have I know I need to get food in me so I had two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches the day before yesterday, and then I had pizza yesterday. I might have a piece, uh, another slice of pizza tonight just to, you know, keep my strength up. I probably wouldn't be able to move if I wasn't eating. Uh, I'm going to pull anything I've been drinking out of out of the uh, other rooms, and I'm just going to quarantine myself. Beware, and let everyone be aware that if uh, they drink anything that I put my lips on or put any saliva on, they could get mono as well. Symptoms should not arise for about four weeks. And you can be out of commission from anywhere from a week to two months. Hopefully, mine's case is just a week, and I'll be feeling better on Saturday or Sunday, and I'll be roaring to go to school on Monday. Hopefully, not coughing or licking anyone. That's about it, guys. I'd like to see you guys later, and just be careful. You never know what you can get from kissing a girl or laying on a bed. Later, YouTube.